gonna pick up another slayer task here. Please, anything but desert lizards, you asshole. Ah. Amidst this shitty task, we did just get 56 attack. Alrighty, this is our last desert lizard. The good thing is that went way faster. Cool, tooth key on the last kill. Alrighty here, please. No shit tasks, please. Otherworldly beings, are you fucking kidding me right now? So far, I'm not really impressed by these guys' drop table. 15 coins, 15 coins, 15 coins. Unfortunately, we still have another 81 more of these guys to kill. Sneaking up on an attack level here, and boom, 57 attack. Looks like we'll be getting a Slayer level soon and a Hit Points level soon as well. Well, per usual, we just uh, missed the Slayer level. That sucks. Do we unlock anything with 45 Slayer? Let's find out. Infernal Mages. Once again, missed the Hit Point level. We are actually 65 combat. I didn't even know that. We're almost 66 already, though. Can we do it? We are like super close to dying here. Seven health, zero food, one prayer point left. We got this, right? Oh shit, go back to ring weapon, come on. Smack him, one more time. We got no prayer. This is the last kill of the task. I'm not going to get food for, okay, there we go, cool. Sweet, that task is finally over. That was a terrible task. Got like 2K in loot. All right, I am a terrible Iron Man. I haven't done a single farm run in like four days so we're gonna go ahead and do that and we'll be able to plant maple seeds or maple trees rather in 800 xp so that's what we're gonna be planting this time around alrighty so we finally finished that farm run that took forever we got to 47 farming still have a shitload of tree we seeds we decided left. to do fairy tale part one and we just got to the point where we figure out what items we have to collect we have to get three random items from a Huge fucking list. Um, luckily, though, everything that it gave me is super easy. An unopened oyster, which let me check the bank. I might already have that. Red vine, red vine worms, which I just have to dig up in McGrubber Wood. And then charcoal, which I can buy at a vendor. So pretty fucking awesome. And I have plenty of oysters. I forgot I got a shitload of them from doing fishing trawler whenever I had really, really, really low... Uh, fishing level Yeah, getting all three of those items were insanely easy super lucky it took me like three minutes So this is way faster than I remember uh, Probably because I have 47 farming this time the last time I did this I had way lower farming so It definitely helps alrighty. There we go fairy tale part one is done got 3,500 farming XP 2k attack XP which is nice because we need that 60 attack and 1,000 magic XP. Hell yeah, okay, we just did a little bit of fairy tale too, just enough to unlock the fairy rings, because I don't have all the stats required to finish the quest, but I definitely wanted to get the fairy ring. Should make travel infinitely easy. We are still on that 60 attack grind. We are a little over halfway through 57, so uh, we're gonna pick up another slayer task and hope that it's not garbage. Pyre fiends. So far, this isn't a very profitable task, but at least it's going pretty quickly and we're getting a decent amount of XP from it. Better than the otherworldly beings, for sure. Infinitely better. I'm so terrible at catching levels, but we just hit 58 attack. We hit 66 combat too, hell yeah. Wow, we actually got a clue scroll from that. Let's go ahead and do that. Well, turns out for this medium clue that I actually have to make snakeskin boots, which I can't do until 45 crafting. So, I won't be doing that medium for right now, but I did just remember that we have a hard clue in here somewhere, right there, and the next step was a fairy ring step, so I didn't do it. Alright, so killing that Saradoman wizard was way harder than I thought it would be, but we did it successfully, and we got our casket, let's just open it up. Got a rune full helm and a rune longsword, I'll take those Alks plus 29 sharks, and I have been needing a blessing as well. So that's actually an amazing clue scroll. And it's my first hard clue. Just got 46 Slayer. Hell yeah. 19 more Pyrefiends to go and we're done with the task. 
There we go. It's our last pyrophene of the task. All right, Panaka, please give me a good task this time, please. Cave fucking slimes. Well, I guess at least that was a really, really quick task. Can't complain too much, I guess. Slayer task number 14. Please be better than the last. We got hobgoblins. And that's the end of the hobgoblin task. We didn't even have to leave this dungeon. But let's go. Good task. Anku or Anku. I'm down to do some Anku. We are, as you can see, almost halfway through level 59. Alrighty, this should be the task, if it's a halfway decent task, that we get 60 attack on, which we, means we can use these freaking sweet weapons right here. Let's see what we have to get. 61 Infernal Mages. Hey, there's 47 Slayer. We unlocked Brine Rats. Holy shit. We just got the Mystic Boots for the Dark Mystic set. Rare drop. That uh, That's two pieces out of the set now. That's super cool. Just got 57 HP. Here we are coming up on the level 60 attack, guys. We get to use our dragon weapons on the, these last few kills. Alrighty, so now that we have our 60 attack, what's next? So take a look in our bank our food is extremely low I have those 29 sharks that I got from the hard glue other than that I literally basically have zero food um, so I want to do Taibo Wanai and be able to fish uh, Karambwans now that I have the fairy rings unlocked it'll be super super fast banking also something that I have desperately wanted um, I have pretty much no jewelry. I do have a shitload of gems that I got from Wintertot that I've been hanging on to. However, I have no gold bars. So, I would have to go out and get 40 smithing so that I can start smithing gold ore and make them into bars for the jewelry. Another option I have, I could do Death to Dorgashin, and I can thieve all the jewelry from the hand members. Right at this moment though, I think I'm gonna go ahead and do Taibo Wanai and get some food because that is probably the most important thing. So for Taibo Wanai, you need a steel spear. I was gonna kill Earth Warriors for the, the steel spear, but it's an uncommon drop and it's in the wildy and I'm currently watching the Dead Man tournament at the moment. So I'm not paying 100% attention, don't wanna die and don't wanna spend five hours going dry there. I realized that it only takes 35 smithing to make one, and I have a shitload of silver ore from Winter Tot. So let's go ahead and get 35 smithing, and then we can just make it for ourselves. There we go, 35 smithing. Now let's go make this spear so we can do the quest. Wait, so apparently you can't make the steel spear until you've completed Taibo Wanai, but a steel spear is required. So I'm guessing I have to get a spear from a drop? Alrighty, so this is what we're gonna do. Instead of killing earth warriors or hobgoblins for a steel spear, what we're gonna do is go to blue dragons and we will get a mithril spear. We can at least bank the bones and the hides. To be perfectly honest, I've been looking for an excuse to kill dragons anyways for more prayer xp alrighty so we actually got our mithril spear we also got uh 58 range while we were in there so that's cool now let's do uh taibo wanai here we go i believe now we've finished taibo wanai there we go i accidentally fucked up with the sugar bones and it was annoying but we got it done. One thing I need to do in the near future is get the kudos to go to Fossil Island, which I haven't talked to the collector or whatever the heck his name is in so long. So we're going to go talk to him and see how many kudos we have. Really. Alrighty, we got up to 68 kudos. We got two lamps out of this, so we're going to, of course, put them in ring crafting because that skill blows. 1,000 XP each, probably. Yeah, cool. We get a level? I think we did. 29. We actually got two levels, I think, because I think we were at 27. Really close to 30, and at 30 we're going to do some easy diaries so we can dump those lamps into runecrafting as well. It took us over an hour to get the last set. I had one full set of ham already, but it took us over an hour to get all the pieces for a second set so that we can do the Death to Dorgashin.
quest. We got a clue scroll as well from thieving those guys. So let's go jump into getting that. All right, this should be the last step. Rip, there we go. We got our casket. Let's just open it right up. We didn't get shit, cool. Boom, there we go. I don't believe we'll get any levels. Holy shit, just did an easy clue and we got a red elegant blouse. I think that's where we're going to end episode five of the Iron King series. In this episode, we got tons of gains. We did some Slayer and Reach 60 attack, which means we can now use our awesome dragon weapons. We did some important quests, including Fairy Tale Part 1 and Taibo Wanai Trio. We also got some of our first teleport jewelry by thieving ham storerooms, which apparently I forgot to record. Between the fairy rings and the teleport jewelry, travel is going to be infinitely easier from here. We can also now stock up on karambwan, which are probably going to be our main source of food for a bit. They're super easy and fast to catch. And I don't burn that many of them when I cook them on these air rings. As always, I stream almost all of my content over on Twitch. You can also find me on Twitter at Sir King of Kings. Links to those will be in the description. I also wanted to invite you to my clan chat. Just click join chat and type in my name, King of Kings. As you can see, it's a fucking party in here. Thanks again for watching. If you want to catch more episodes of the Iron King series, hit that subscribe button and look out for more videos. Until next time. Peace. <laughs>